Hi. Uh, I'm going to talk to you today a little bit about some of the work that uh, I've been doing at City College and also along with Dennis Koch, who's in the back of the room there. Uh, we're looking at trying to expand the pipeline. And to do this, we're looking to engage New York City public school students uh, at the middle, high school, and college level uh, with science and the environment. So the first project that we've done this with is a project called Ecology Disrupted. And as you can see from the name, um, this is in, uh, working with high school students across uh, New York City. And the idea was to use published scientific data to bring together their daily life, what's their daily life connections, not just to environmental issues, but also to ecological principles. So uh, we're learning ecological principles at school, particularly in New York City, that's learned separately from the environmental issues. So the idea here was to bring, uh, use data for help students to connect what they see in their life. So for example, uh, salting the roads, or in case of the students, they really understand the sidewalks much more. They have a much better connection to the salt on the sidewalks, and how that might affect uh, the fresh water supply, but the abiotic factors to really understand what that means. Um, and this project was done with the Museum of Natural History, and we worked in the schools with them. And now the curriculum that we created is now available online uh, for people to use across the country. Uh, and you just type in Ecology Disrupted, you can find it, uh, AM and H. So. Um, the next project, kind of after doing that, what I really wanted to do was kind of um, get outside with kids. I think that's always, once you're working with the environment, you automatically want to get outside. And we worked here in the, cl in the classrooms, uh, this is now middle school classrooms, to take kids outside to look at the New York City street trees. So there's easily available biodiversity in New York City, and, uh, but nobody notices it. And it's the street trees that they walk by every single day. And the idea was to kind of uh, open up uh, different opportunities to students so that they can see uh, the connection to biodiversity in their lives and also to evolution. So the idea here was not only to help them understand that um, all oak trees are oaks because they have acorns, but they have acorns because they share a common ancestor that had acorns. And doing this, it's kind of you're reaching students and helping them see career possibilities that they may not even have known had existed. Uh, and there always are some sets of kids who just love the environment and they love the outdoors and, and to give them some of that exposure. And now here at City College, uh, what, we're, what we're starting is a new program to uh, prepare our undergraduate students for careers at in, in informal science learning environments. So you can see all the different types of institutions. And New York City, we have a lot of these institutions. Uh, and we also have just community-based organizations. There's a lot of environmental education centers all around the city. And uh, these organizations, uh, there's a big uh, underrepresentation problem in, in at these different organizations. So I've spoken to a lot of people who are, uh, you know, particularly at the big museums and botanical gardens and things like that, and they're really excited that we're getting this off the ground, and they're excited to host internships and things like that to um, help kind of, again, expand the pipeline because they are interested in um, in kind of staying relevant, and they want to be to do that. They need to uh, meet the needs of the wider community. So, I think I spoke really quickly. I'm from New York, so <laughs> I'm going to stop. <laughs>